So I believe we're on Gemini. Let's see what wants to come out here. Spirit, we talked about the human body is a battery. It's a transformer of energy. You have the ability to transmute and transform negative energy into good positive energy. Okay? How did we say? We said you can change your focus from a negative thought to a good thought. You can ride the wave of the energy objectively by sitting in it or not responding to it. And you can do the same thing with emotionally. You can shift your focus from that negative energy to building a new focus of healthy, positive energy. Okay, so there's a lot of ways that you can manipulate the energy. But the first one is to understand it just as not good or bad, but just raw energy. And when you understand that, then you can transmute it by your response, right? When you respond to fear with love, you are transmuting that energy, right? If you are fighting fire with fire, then you are being pulled into a firefight. That's not what you want. So that's what I mean by transforming energy, okay? And it starts with yourself. If I get hit with a wave of anxiety, but I immediately go into damage control and I think of grounded, stable, calm, anchored, safe, I'm, I'm transforming that energy within myself just by virtue of I'm taking responsibility of my own auric electromagnetic field. So that's what I mean by transform. Okay? As opposed to being pulled into a firefight, like I said. Let's see, for Gemini, if you're not Gemini, take this for your third house. Look, we got a little bit of a insignia uh, speaking to this Three of Swords in the reverse. The insignia is the Saturnian Saturn. This is the physical over the spiritual. This is the physical needs to be sacrificed for the spiritual to emerge here. Three of Swords in the reverse coming out of sadness and heartbreak as well. Okay. And you may feel that on your path, 222 on the clock, that you have sacrificed the physical for the spiritual to emerge. So that your soul or your spirit can be reborn here. Okay. I believe this is, I don't know what we're on. I think we're on Gemini or third house here. <clears throat> Yes, and much happiness comes from this, much authentic happiness, okay? When you put on the goggles, the eyes of the spiritual and the energetic base as opposed to the physical concrete base. Inspired action comes from this happiness, and that allows you to get present and more empowered, okay? Out of, away from the Nine of Swords. All right. Okay, sorry about that. I had to transition to sitting down because my neck is... I notice that sometimes when I read, my, my shoulders and neck get, you know, tense and inflamed. So I feel like it's because I'm taking on the energy of the reading and the viewers and all that possibly. But I've been standing for a while. I've been standing playing Risk and listening to the Tucker Carlson, Vladimir Putin interview, which I thought was fascinating. Sounds like Putin's a one world government NWO agent. That's just my takeaway. But I want to give him the benefit of the doubt because there, there could be some eagle versus serpent Tartarian stuff as well. If he's truly, you know, on the out of, you know, the NWO propaganda stuff. And that would make him a good guy, technically. But we don't know. Um, I don't know why I went into a little bit of a Trump there, but that's, that's what came up. Ten of Wands here. Okay, this is taking the right action course here. Okay, you only need one Ace of Wands in the upper. You don't need the ten. The ten might become uh, overburdened somewhere. Okay, let's wrap this up. Yes, coming out of conflict. A lot of this is going to be informed by going with the flow as well here. What's the Ten of Swords and the Upright Endings? Betrayal here. Starting a new story. 
Okay, moving past this betrayal. Okay, the new story where you are empowered here and now. This is where you're at currently. I'm not reading the Ten of Wands or the Ten of Swords is where you're at. I'm reading that you are on fire and you are on top of your game. And that's what's been coming out earlier as well. So kudos to you. Keep on doing what you're doing. I think you've undergone this, this resurrection from that crucifixion that we were talking about. That came out earlier. But you did your work and you kept on going. And now you're here. Paper in the world with tarot and all your insight and enlightenment and all that beautiful stuff. Let's roll this on over to Kateri and reach, reach out for one-on-one reading or if you want to learn tarot professionally. How much more, please.